Hey guys, it's me again, but if you don't know me, my name is Rachel. Today we're gonna try on all of my figure skating dresses. all laid out right here. I've been skating for 17 years. I've got all the skating dresses that I still own. So let's try my first one on. We're gonna go from oldest to newest. I think my oldest would be this one. This was, I was definitely around 10. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna fit, but I wanna try it on anyway. I have a lot of hair pieces to go with this. This is my first one. Can y'all guess what I'm skating to? Because I couldn't. What colors does the scream? I have no idea. I skated to that song from Up. It's like da 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 That one, you know, a classic. I don't know why my dressmaker was like, yeah, these colors make so much sense. Cause I feel like they don't, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is gonna fit. <laughs> Not doing it for me. It looks like I was doing some sort of like crazy salsa dancing kind of thing. <laughs> This one, I was definitely under 13. I did this program when I was half in Washington and half in California, and it was the Skater's Waltz. I don't remember what it was called, but we're gonna see if this fits. This one looks like it might fit, maybe. This one without all of the feathers is actually really cute. Oh, the girls did grow since I got this dress. <laughs> hey, at least I got taller. The torso is definitely not long enough for me now. <laughs> I got my boobs. I used to hold my shoulders up like this all the time when I was skating, so having it off the shoulder made it look like they weren't like that. We were really strategic with it, you know? But it's a really cute dress. I wish it still fit me, but obviously it doesn't fit me anymore. But it's so like ice princessy and cute. Like, I wish it fit. It has like the cutest little like rhinestones around the edge. Like she's so cute and pretty. All right, next one. Those two were custom made, but this one I got online and it wasn't custom made. I remember this one because I hated this sequin stuff because it made it really tight around my chest area. So I don't know if it's gonna fit anywhere, but we'll see. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't remember what song I skated to when I wore this dress. It was just really hard to breathe in. Oh. <laughs> Why does this fit me now? Oof, okay. I think we're getting to the point where I stopped growing because <laughs> this like low key kind of fits. I swear when I was wearing it, it felt like very similar to this because like I hate it. Like this part is so tight and this part is so itchy too. Like it's a cute like dress, not gonna lie. Nothing special I feel like. There's just a lot of like sequins, but she's cute. Here's what the back looks like. Love the details. I think we definitely picked a good color. It still kind of fits me now though. I don't remember how old I was when I wore this one either, but I do like the arm details a lot how it goes like up the sleeves It's just really itchy and this part is very tight like this sequin fabric stuff is not stretchy at all like figure skating dresses are supposed to be stretchy but like oh, It like pulls really hard on here. It's a bit too short. Maybe I did get a little taller But you know, that's this one now. We're getting on to the ones. I kind of remember this one is my next one. Girl, what's with me in these like crazy colored dresses? <laughs> this next dress, it was like to this like really upbeat song. This is my first time where I like actually started like performing more, if that makes sense, and like skating to the music. I really liked songs like that because they were like upbeat and I could just do my like, like stuff like that. <laughs> like that was my favorite genre of music to skate to because it was just so easy to just like keep a smile instead of trying not to have like a resting bitch face. Okay, <laughs> this was the hair piece that went with that one. It's just a plain old scrunchie with little sequins on it. It's kind of boring. I feel like this one would still fit me because this is a little bit more recent. This is when I started actually living in Washington after moving from California. And I started doing a lot of competitions here. And I was with my new coaches. When I was taking out these dresses, I was like, sheesh, this one is really heavy. Like this fringe stuff at the bottom is so heavy, but it's so fun. This one still fits. I did not grow at all. I feel like the minute I moved here, I didn't grow like at all. <laughs> this one's like still comfy too. Here's the hair piece for this one. It's very cool. It's like a barrette and it's got these little things at the bottom and it's like super sparkly. If my bun was here, you just kind of put it on the top of my bun. This one's cute, not gonna lie. It's just like the colors are interesting. <laughs> what can I say? I really like the details though. Like this little thing here, very cute, very cute here. It's got a very nice like pull back and it has this little thing as well here and then right down here as well. I think this one's super cute. It doesn't really go to any of the music I skate to anymore and it's definitely not my colors anymore, but she had her time. I was like... Like I just remember that one bit in my program. It was very really, like jumpy, very cutesy. This one still looks good on me now. Haven't gained or lost any weight. I look exactly the same and I didn't get any taller. 
so <laughs> girl didn't grow at all but look at how cute the fringe is like i'd be like Choo. oh mm. <laughs> i feel like the under bit could have been shorter but that's just my opinion but she's really cute. Oh my gosh, so next one, my La La Land era. I'm still in this era, to be fair, but this is meant to look like Mia's dress from La La Land. It's my favorite movie. I was skated to La La Land three times, as one does when they're obsessed. It's my obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. Oh, you see how soft this is? Sheesh, period. That's why I wear it so comfy. I was thinking of wearing this one to the Christmas show this year, because I've worn the purple one so many times. Y'all have seen the purple one for sure but I really do like this dress. This one should still fit, hopefully. Ugh, this is not good. Maybe my waist got bigger too. It has a little belt on it. Okay, okay. I think it'd be good for Christmas, you know, cause it is green. I just don't like the belt anymore and I think I'm gonna remove it because it doesn't, it doesn't give the vibes that I'm looking for. Like cute and elegant, it looks a little more like showy with this little belt on. Like this is what the belt looks like. Like it's not bad, but also if I just got rid of it, like, Ooh, she's cute. Oop. There we go. <laughs> I have a lot of like crystal detailing around the top here. I also have some in the back as well. This is like a relatively simple dress as well. It has like little rhinestones at the bottom too. So it's like simple, but it's still cute. I think it's very Christmas. It would go very well to California and me. That's why I'm skating too for the Christmas show this year. California and me. You know, I feel myself in this one. This is really cute. I love her. No bunching anywhere either. The skirt. I feel like it could be shorter, but that's my opinion. I'm very short. I'm only five feet tall, guys. Like, I need to look a little taller. I love this dress, though. I'm definitely gonna wear it. I'm gonna try it for dress rehearsals tomorrow. If you guys wanna watch my Christmas show vlog, I'll put it up here when I post it. But this is the dress I think I'm gonna wear because I have no other options that match at all. And I think the belt gotta go. Belt's gotta go. All right, last one is my iconic purple one. Y'all have seen this one a lot because this is my favorite dress to wear for any like occasion ever. It's also my most bedazzled and probably expensive dress too. So, ooh, like she's pretty, she's expensive. Like, do you see the ombre? Do you see the crystals on the back too? And on the, the arm, like she's a whole package. She has all these ribbons here. This is my favorite but I need to not wear it for every occasion because maybe I should get a new dress, but they're like really expensive because the rest of these are all custom made except for that one blue one earlier. I feel very comfy in this one because I wear this one all the time for anything ever, but she's cute. We've got these huge crystals and then I love this part. This is my favorite part right here and it just sticks on my arm even when I go up, you know, <laughs> so cute. I love the fact that it like it has like an ombre effect when it goes down here and up here like that. Like that is my favorite part of this dress. This would look so cute with my hair half up, half down. If I wore it for my Christmas program, I have to try to wear my hair half up, half down. Like my hair is pretty and flowy and cute, but like it's gonna get in the way. I have to wear my hair in a bun because I have so much hair. But those are my last competition dresses. This is my favorite one. We do have some honorable mentions though. I don't know if you guys know this, but I do know how to sew. And my mom was trying to learn how to sew skating practice dresses for us. So this was her first attempt. It's like pretty cute. The thing about it is, is that the skirt is very full. Like this skirt is super cute, not super full. I don't know if y'all have ever tried to sew before, but it's like really hard, especially when you have to work with fabric that stretches like four different directions and it's slippery too. Like it's like one of the most irritating things. That's why I don't like sewing clothes. In another life, I would be a fashion student, but by the time I learned how to do something, I'd be tired of the project in general. I picked out this like cute lace fabric, which is pretty cute. Like the idea is really cute. It's just a bit plain. Like, I don't know why I picked this color. It's not a bad color. This is also a very comfy dress in general. It fits my arms very nicely. Actually, you know what? This really isn't that ugly. If I crystallize this, but like the skirt, do y'all see how like thick the skirt is? It's not that bad. I thought it was worse the last time I wore it, which was like years ago, but actually it's kind of cute. Like if I crystallize this really cutely, then I feel like it'd be wearable. Also it'd be cheaper because I already have it. She's a keeper for sure. I like it. This also is just very soft too. It's not itchy or anything. 
it fits my arm very nicely too there's like no gapping and i feel very like free to move around as well last one is a testing dress i feel like the, in the olden days when i used to skate we'd have to wear dresses to our tests like that was just the thing that you did like you weren't really supposed to wear like just black pants and black shirt. I don't know if that's still a thing now because I don't really test that much. I'm still doing my gold free skate, but I don't wear a dress when I do that. So I'm not really sure. Let me know your experience with that. But for testing, you don't want anything super like glamorous, just something like very plain and simple because they're looking at your skating. This one, does this one fit me still? Yep, it does. <laughs> Have I grown since, huh? Okay, imagine if I crystallize this one, because we have two of them, because me and my sister used to skate. Like, I could crystallize one of these. I also really like this part here. It's very, like, cute, belle core, like, off the shoulder. It's so soft, too. Slay. Oh my gosh, I should, like, wear skating dresses more often. Like, this is, like, really cute. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see any more skating-related videos. I also do vlogs anything that i really like like i'm just a 21 year old girl trying to live my life i want to travel i want to go places like i've been traveling a lot recently it's one of my dreams but yeah if you guys like this video like it and if you like me subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye